tubers. We got some, 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 some special here. I bought this many years ago. And I wore it a few times, several times, not as much as I should have. Hulk slam! You get the usual. You know how that goes. Think of butteries. Think of bobs. A couple extra. The thing about this watch, though, is you really don't need that many links. I mean, the travel on these glide locks is <laughs> amazing. So you're from here, half link, half link, all the way to the inside. You got half link, half link, and almost a full link. You're talking about like, it, yeah, I don't care what wrist size you are, this is gonna fit, you know? Um, unless you're really, really heavy, then you might need the two extra links. But God, Sumber style, beautiful execution. White gold, ceramic bezel. Some people say this is a tryhard. I saw a guy on the internet say this is a tryhard and he would rather have the Kermit. Well, no. 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 This is the guy. This is the one. I'm telling you right now, when I bought this watch, nobody cared. Nobody cared until I bought the watch. That's the way it is. Nobody cared until I bought the watch. They saw me wearing it, and they're like, we're going to discontinue that. Because Caster bought the watch. No more. No more. Nobody gets it. And because I got the what it, 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 the price, it went, it went, it ballooned up like like bread on yeast. It just went, and then and then a bunch of people started wanting to buy the watch, and then it fizzles. Now it's on its fizzle, which I'm bummed about. I think at point, one point it was going for like 30, 30 grand. Mm. Oh, it tastes so good. What am I drinking, you ask? But it's not just the Nini Blue Label. This is a 46%, not a 40, 46. This is the year of the dragon. Blue label. James Dean, limited edition design. I find limited edition jams from John Walker are different from batch to batch. Just because you get a Dragon, limited edition 46, it's different from a Tiger. 40, 46 limited edition they taste slightly different yes they are more robust and they taste like Johnny Blue just 
more robust. However, there's slight variances in the profile of the taste and the smokiness of the blend. You know, personally, I people say all this stuff about single malt, this and that, single malt, single malt, single malt, you know, um, sherry cask finish, mm, whatever. For me, easiest drinking by far is the Johnny Walkers, especially the Blue Line. Uh, the 18 year is, mm, it's, it's, it's good. No complaints. Almost down to the green label. Very palatable. Not bad. Black label is kind of is is black label. So anyway, back to the watch. I got a few scuffs on here. Um, nothing I can't polish out, but nothing I want to polish out. I it's it's prone. It's big. It's there on the you know it, it's gonna happen. There's nothing you can stop it. But you see the profile. You see the taper on these watches. They all do these, you know, most of the Rolex anyway, especially with the oyster bracelets. They all do this. They have this taper. Not to say the taper is bad. It's actually good. I prefer a little late taper. But the Rolex tapers are uh, just a tad more extreme. But I don't know if you saw the Moonwatch one. But Moonwatch is even thinner at the clasp than the Rolex. And I thought the Rolex had... The most extreme taper, and I have a good feeling that the Seamaster, the sub, the Speedmaster Moonwatch, they actually went for even extreme taper, just to piss them off, just to say, "Ha, your taper sucks." My, I got a, I got a, I got a thinner taper by four millimeters. You can, you can kiss, you can take your taper and. Take it to the tape city. Uh, whatever, dude. But the Rolex taper at first, it's, 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 it feels a bit unusual. It feels like it tapers a little too much. But after you wear it, you understand why that taper is that taper. So, for example, taper watches tapered bracelets are a thing they have this exact same watch or very similar to this watch called the Le Petit Prince which is a very famous watch I mean, I mean you know it's been around for some time and this actually and it has the value movement this is the redesigned 43 millimeter IWC with an in-house caliber with a with a column wheel the value does not have a column wheel although I wish this was a vertical clutch but it is not it is a lateral clutch however this has a taper can you see that taper it's kinda subtle it's not so drastic and has a substance and it still looks the part. It like it, the proportionally it's nice. Best micro adjust in the business. Push that IWC logo, extend it out. Push it in without even pushing the clasp or the button. You can just push it in. Gets tight. Is it too tight? You push that button. It extends out comfort at the fingertips without taking this off best in the business so that taper isn't extreme but it's there the value the lipity prints does not have a taper I prefer at least a little taper and then you go to the Rolex and you slap this bad boy on and you go oh, it looks a little funky it looks almost girlish it looks it looks eh, 
It's why is it so narrow down there? But then you realize it's more comfortable. Not to say this isn't any more any less comfortable, but they're both very comfortable. But it this has a little extra space for your wrist bandage. So do which which do I like better? I like the aesthetics of this better, but I like the comfort of this better. So you pick what it looks like, what it feels like. Overall, I'm so happy I bought this watch before the hype. And hopefully that hype continues and eventually I'll make a million dollars. <laughs> well, then again, back in high school, I used to have RX7 FC 3S. I have I, I had I had an FC Turbo Two Rotary Thirteen A. I bought it for eight thousand dollars had a used lot basically my first car that I bought somebody gave me a car to drive around in my very first teen years I drove it around for maybe a couple of years Subaru GL10 I got it for free but the very first car I bought was an RX-7 Turbo 2 FC3S with a 13A oh wait I'm sorry 13B twin turbo uh, a single turbo and that car was a ripper I blew the motor on it, obviously. The Apex seals were bad. Blew it. Car sucked. Had to rebuild it, whatever, whatever. Didn't want to deal with it. Sold it. I sold it for a couple Gs. And guess what? You know how many years ago that was? That was 30 years ago. Do you know how much the car is going for now? $16,000 or more if it was still in that condition. I should have never sold that damn car. I'll never sell this. Toodaloo.